today is the day. May I please have your attention? The store will be closing in five minutes. Please bring your items to the checkout now. We thank you for shopping with us today. <laughs> I took a photo of it. Hey guys, this is Sam from Sam and Victor. I know this YouTube video is a bit out of the blue because I never really talk about luxury purchases. But I finally got my dream Chanel bag that I have been waiting for and looking for for the last three years. As you guys have probably seen on my Instagram, I already unboxed it. I've already started using it because I've been so excited about finding it. So I'm just going to show it to you and tell you a little bit about the backstory of getting this bag. It came with a rib ribbon and camellia, but I just can't be bothered to show you the whole thing. And here is my little baby. A little story about this bag. So this bag is from the latest collection, 21P, P for Printemps, I think, for spring. Um, this is the medium double flap classic. This is the 25CM in what Chanel describes as brown, but a lot of people online call it caramel or tan. It's got light gold hardware or champagne gold hardware. And this one comes in lambskin. I don't think it comes in caviar unless you get the cocoa handle. And we're just gonna open it. I mean, this is nothing really new if you already own a classic Chanel bag, but you know, I know I never talk about Chanel bags. So for anyone who's interested in purchasing one, this is what it looks like on the inside and with the Mona Lisa pocket in the back. So why is this bag so elusive and so hard to get? It's because Chanel doesn't really repeat colors and brown is not a very, uh, I guess, popular color that Chanel does every season. So when I started looking for it three years ago, the last collection that I liked from their brown was from 16B and I could not find it on the pre-loved market. So these past few years, when I was able to have financially be able to purchase Chanel, they didn't even have the color that I wanted when I walked in. So I ended up getting the Gabrielle backpack in white and that was my first Chanel at the boutique in 2018. Fast forward to 2021, I had seen a picture of the bag lineup on Instagram. And I had saved that photo and I was so excited because I knew this was going to be out for 2021. But that photo on Instagram, along with that Instagram account, mysteriously vanished. I don't know what happened to it. And so I thought that this bag was a hoax or like a rumor that someone started and it was taken down. And so for like the past half year, I've been toying with other colors because I started giving up on finding um, a brown Chanel bag and I was looking at these pale yellows, but I still didn't think that that was the best neutral for me, especially if you're spending so much money at the Chanel store. And then just last week, we were, I think, shopping at Taiku or something like that. And on Instagram, this picture from a personal shopper popped up on my explore page with this bag. And I, I went kind of crazy. Victor knows this because I started, I was like obsessing while he was trying clothes on in the changing room and I was trying to figure out, okay, 
if this bag is now launched in the States, it should be coming to Hong Kong at the same time. So I also visited several Chanel stores in Hong Kong trying to ask if this bag was going to come out in store. And they were like, we don't know yet because a new collection hasn't launched, so we have no idea what the buy is. Laura was able to find out from one of the essays that brown is even harder to get in Hong Kong because for the regional, the regional buyer in Hong Kong basically buys for the entire city and then every store basically chooses how many pieces of each bag that they want stocked at their location. And apparently the buyer in the Hong Kong market tends to opt for more pink colors because I, I guess they think that's what's more popular for the people, for women here. And so they said even if we did get the brown, we would be getting a very limited quantities because it's just not perceived as a very desirable color in Hong Kong. I, had, I was on the list for several Chanel stores for this bag. The day of the new collection launch, which, which was last Friday, um, I had found out the day before all the essays that I had known at three locations, all of them were on holiday. <laughs> and I'm like, what are the chances of all the essays being on holiday? And even one of them who was, um, I guess my main essay, she was like, oh, don't worry about it, you'll get it. But then she was also on holiday until I think the 20th of January. Laura contacted her essay and she managed to get to on the day of the release but we didn't find out until 12 p.m when the stores opened and so at 12 p.m on friday she told us yes you guys can come in at 2 p.m and i've let i've held those bags for you for now so literally we rushed over and we managed to see the bag and i got my dream bag a lot of you who have been following me on instagram Probably know I actually have one so similar to this one, which is this little guy. So this is how much I love this color. I was searching for a brown classic flap since 2018 and I couldn't find one, you know, in the boutiques. So I started looking at pre loved bags. And because this color is so hard to describe, everyone has their own definition of what brown is that it's really hard to search it on vestiaire or real real. I literally have to search the word tan, caramel, dark beige, and brown and chocolate to find all the bags I can. There was this time period where I was just like constantly trying to find on the pre-love market. So on Instagram, I would look up words like hashtag Chanel 16B, cause that's when I knew there was a color like this last time or hashtag Chanel Caramel. I guess the reason why I decided to opt for a new one is after having this one, I think for two years now, I think my heart just wanted a new one. For me, a black Chanel bag is quite easy to find in a variety of conditions. You can get them from the 90s, really scuffed up all the way to pristine condition in caviar leather from last year. Also in Hong Kong, because it is so humid and hot, I just feel that psychologically a black bag doesn't match all my clothes and outfits year round. So for me, brown works in the spring and summer when you want to wear, you know, lighter dresses, but it also works as a very rich tone for winter, for a winter wardrobe, especially if you have thick knits or like other neutrals, like just a gray sweatshirt. The biggest difference between my vintage one and from the new one is that the, the quilting on the vintage one is significantly flatter than the new one. Personally, I for this color, I just wanted it in this in a puffier version, but I do still love the vintage 24K gold plated hardware. It is just really beautiful and very shiny. This is the champagne gold hardware, but I find it kind of borderline silver. So the brown that I'm looking for was a brown that has a bit more of a red undertone to it. There are Chanel brown bags that have a yellow undertone to it. So it really depends on your preferences. If you prefer like a more gray brown like mushroom, all the way down to the spectrum of dark chocolate, borderline black. The mod shots of this bag, I'm 5'8", so the bag does hit kind of where my hip bone is. A lot of people don't think you can wear a medium uh, Chanel as a crossbody, but I always do. I don't really mind the awkward length. 
And I sometimes wear it like this just to protect the bag from hitting and scuffing uh, on dark jeans. And I just wear it like this. Whether you should go pre-loved or for new, I would always offer pre-loved first just because the prices are so much uh, better on the pre-loved market and you can find a wider variety than what you can find in store. And when I did, it would, it would just have been sold out right away. And so I went with a new one. And I know new is really expensive now, especially last year in Hong Kong, we had a double price increase even before this new collection came out. But I just really wanted the new one. So I feel no guilt for buying the new one because this is a bag I will cherish forever. Anyways, I hope you guys liked this YouTube video. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing and I'll see you in our next one. Bye. Thank you.